Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Nanny's Reborn Nursery. I wanted to pop in today with you all. Today is Friday, and it's fairly early in the morning. Um, I got my honey out of the bed this morning. I've got a lot I've got to do. But I want to get my sweet Abigail out of this cute, gorgeous little elf outfit. Um, I have to say, um, out of all of my Christmas outfits this year that I put on my... Um, my babies, this one's my favorite, by far. This was my favorite. So, <laughs> I hate to take her out of it, but Christmas is over and the little elves have done their job for the year. And it's time for her to go back to the North Pole and start helping Santa again for next year. <laughs> but anyway, I'm taking her out of this little outfit, uh, elf outfit, and I'm gonna put this on her. It's a little Humphreys Corner. And it's a side snap outfit. And I don't believe any of my babies have worn this this yet. It's kind of um, like a unisex type outfit because boy or girl, either one could wear it. But I just thought she would look cute in this. After these really dark colors for a while, I thought she would look cute in that. So let's pop her around here. Little Miss Sweetheart, she is. Oh my goodness. If I can get this hat off ever. The hat was kind of a bit of a tight fit, wasn't it, honey? Yes, it was. Let me make sure she don't have any color fading going on. And she doesn't. Thank you, Lord. Always makes me so nervous. Let's take off your little booties. Look how cute. Those are so, so cute. Let's see. I'm going to lay these. Let's see, I'm going to put those right over here because those have a bell on them and if one gets knocked off in the floor, somebody's going to think it's his toy. We don't want him to get the wrong idea, do we, Abby? No, we don't. <laughs> Anything that rattles or makes a noise, little Ollie thinks that it's his. So, we have to be really careful. We have to be really careful, don't we, girl? Yeah, we do. My youngest daughter came in here over the Christmas holidays and uh, she saw Abby sitting up here on the shelf in her little chair in this outfit and she pitched a fit. She's like, Mom, my gosh, she said, that is the best outfit I've ever seen you put on her. <laughs> oh, and it does. It works really, it works really, really well for her. So, I'll have to try and remember this for next year as well. This just, this is just Abby's outfit, I guess. I wish there was a way that I could make that looser. Because that is tight. It's tight around her little waist, isn't it, girl? Yes, it is. Little sweetheart. Yep. Get you out of that old tight outfit and put you on something really nice and loose. Forgive my sniffles this morning, you guys. I woke up literally sneezing my head off. And uh, it's probably just my allergies and stuff again. Uh, I have seasonal allergies, but I also, it seems I have allergies like all the time allergies. I always have those sniffles going on, it seems like. It's just probably just me. Just me. But yeah, um, I've got a busy day ahead of me. And um, look, y'all look how squishy she is. I know that's changing the subject, but look at that. I love this baby girl. Mm. I love her like that. In all reality, actually, she's probably uh, become misshapen somewhat over the years. And she may need some extra stuffing, polyfill in here. But I don't, I don't want to put any extra in her because I love her floppy like that. I love that floppiness. I truly do. <clears throat> Let me get 
her a pair of socks, as you all well know, I'm prone to do this. Just gonna get her just any little pair. Don't have to be anything special. I'm just gonna put these on her. They got a little cupcake on the side. Just something to cover up those little sweet little feet. I like putting socks on my babies. I love their little naked feet. They're adorable, but I love to put socks on my babies. I liked, I always loved putting socks on my real babies. So I'm sure that's where that comes from. I won't swear to it, but I kinda, I'm prone to dress my uh, reborns and my silicones the way I dressed my real babies. Um, it's just a, a thing with me. It's just a thing with me. Let's get this little foot in here. But yeah, I've got a busy day ahead of me. Uh, we're supposed to be up at my daughter's. It's about, let's see, it's about 9 o'clock a.m. That's early for me, you guys. <laughs> now, actually, I got up at 8.30, so it's about 9 o'clock. I've not been up a real long time. Um, I fixed myself a cup of coffee and um, drank a little bit of it. And I thought, hubby left. He left to go out to the bank. And um, I thought, well, while he was gone, I would go ahead and get my video, you know, done. Yeah, I don't know if I've talked to you all or if y'all noticed this before, but Abby has a little scratch on her little leg. Isn't that cute? I seen that the other day uh, when I was, uh, when I done her video, when I was changing her into her Christmas outfit, I saw that and I thought, you know, I need to point that out next time. But yeah, back on, let's see, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm supposed to be up to my, up at my daughter's at 12 o'clock, which she's just right up the driveway. It's not like I've got far to go. And, um, Yeah. Got a few things I need to do before I go up there. I don't know how long we'll be up there. It could it could be like it could last a long time, and then it everybody may fizzle out, you know, and get tired and come back, go back home early. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Don't this feel better, girl? Huh? Doesn't this feel so much better than that old tight outfit? Yeah, that old tight elf outfit. I say I'm not an elf. Not today, anyway. <laughs> not till next Christmas. Oh, how cute. How cute, cute. Look how adorable you guys she is. She could actually pass for a little boy in this, especially. But... Say, I'm a baby girl. Mwah. Yes, I am. Mm. I love this little girl so much. She is a delight in my nursery. I love her, love her, love her. She's just, she's amazing. I love that little face. I really do. But, um... Yeah, got a busy day ahead of me. I know I've said that like four times, haven't I? Uh, my youngest daughter is going to spend the night with me again on Sunday night. Because Sunday night is New Year's Eve. And then on Monday, which is New Year's Day, um, I'll be going to my mom's, my mom and dad's. And she always fixes like a big pot of chili or something like that for New Year's. Um, nobody, she used to fix those black-eyed peas every year. And nobody eats them. Nobody likes them. I hate black-eyed peas. I just, I do not like them. They, they're, they're just nasty. <laughs> I don't like them at all. And most everybody in the family, nobody likes them, but she always made them anyway. And so she finally quit. She finally quit making those nasty things. So now we just have, she'll fix them. Um, she fixes the pot of chili, and then she fixes um, a crock pot, her uh, crock pot with um, cheese and sausage dip. And we always have cheese and 
the, the chips and cheese and sausage dip, and it is really, really good. It really is good. I'm standing here. I'm looking at my Ollie. He's been back here under the baby beds. He can, back here behind us, he can get under this baby bed over here. He can come straight through, like back behind my ring light. There's a space back there, and then he can go straight through and go up and under this baby bed over here. <laughs> So he has a little passageway that he can travel back and forth. <laughs> and a lot of times, like when I go take my shower and he's out with, and I'm not like right with him, he's kind of an insecure dog. He has high stress, high anxiety. And um, a lot of times when I'm in the shower, he'll come in here in the baby room and he'll hide. He'll get back up and under, you know the baby beds until I get out of the shower and once I get out of the shower he's happy go lucky and everything's back to normal and he's just fine you know but that's Ollie for you that's how he is that's how he rolls in it Abby yeah it is um let's sing let's please continue to remember sweet Holly um in our prayers uh, that's Holly Church over at Holly's dollhouse um yeah, she's had that family emergency, and um, let's continue to pray for her, and that the Lord will strengthen them and take care of them in their time of need, because that's, that's hard, you guys, especially, you know, it's bad enough when it's something that you've been expecting, but when it's uh, an all of a sudden thing, like just, that just pops up, you know, that, that makes it even worse, um, we're never prepared for anything like this, but it's still, it does, it, it makes it harder um, when it's, um, you know, when it's just a, something that happens, a sudden thing. But yeah, let's keep remembering, remembering her in our prayers. Uh, let's remember all of the ladies in the Dolly community uh, this morning who are sick, who have loved ones who are sick, who are going through, um any problems or sad emotions from the holidays. The holidays are joyful and we enjoy them and love them, but, they're, but for so, so, so many, they're not enjoyable. So let's keep up, keep our prayers for those people. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of everything else that I was gonna tell you, really not a whole lot today. Um, I didn't sleep worth nothing last night. Now, night before last, I slept like a rock. I mean, just I was just like sleeping like a baby. Last night, that was a bit of a different story. Um, I had a situation that happened. Last night, <clears throat> I got unnerved because last night, but this was before I went to bed. This was about, oh, 7.30, almost 8 o'clock. My husband had went over to his mom's house, my mother-in-law's house, and they play cards. Uh, they pick one night a week and they play cards through, through the uh, winter months. And then, you know, it breaks the monotony. It helps my mother-in-law. It gives her something to look forward to. But um, anyway, he was over there playing cards with his um, sister and brother-in-law and his mom. And I heard, we've got two hands two hens that have up and decided that they're going to roost on our carport. Um, they will not get in a tree. We don't know why. We think, we feel like that maybe it's because an owl or something has gotten after them during the night and like swooped down, you know, to try to get them in the tree and it has ran them in on the carport. So they've been roosting on the carport and have you, he was aggravated about the other day. He said, it's not good that they're roosting down low uh, because we've got some boxes and stuff that's stacked up out there and they get on those boxes and there's a table out there and it's got some stuff on it. They get on that table, but just these two, he said, it's not good that they're roosting there. He said, cause something can get them here too. And I'm like, well, maybe give them a few days and let's see if they'll go back up in the tree. You know, because like I said, we figured an owl was coming in trying to get them. Um, an owl is my favorite bird. But that being said, they will kill your chickens. Um, 
Definite. It's a definite. <laughs> but anyway, they've been roosting on the carport for about a week. And uh, last night I heard the most horrible commotion I've ever heard with one of our chickens that was out there. And my husband has, he brought in, now why he even done this, why he brought this in, I don't know, because we don't have horses. But he brought in like one of those long black um, stick things, you know, for a horse where, you know, like if um, they'll tap the horse on the, the hiney or on the side, you know, to get them to run or whatever they use them for. I'm not that much into horses. I don't know all there is to know about that. But he brought that in. He bought it somewhere. He probably didn't give but a dollar for it. <laughs> That's he, he 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 searches for a bargain. But anyway, he brought that in, and I told him, I said, oh, great. I said, this will be something for me to whip you into shape with if you step out of line. You know, of course, we got a big kick out of that. Well, I heard the commotion with the chickens, and I thought, hmm, I don't know what's out there, but... I took that whip just in case. So I looked out the uh, door. I pulled the curtain back on the door to look and make sure it wasn't, you know, something big. You know, like it could have been anything. It could have been a dog. It could have been anything. So like a stray dog. Um, but anyway, I didn't see anything. So I took the black whip and I stepped outside and I went in the direction over to the far side of the carport where I could hear my little hen crying. And I stepped around there and when I did, I was trying, I had the lights on to where I could see, but it was still dark over to the side and I couldn't see real, real good. Well, once my eyes got focused in, of course, like I said, I thought, you know, well, an owl has come in here on the carport, and now it's it's after the chicken here. But after I got to looking, I noticed it wasn't feathers. It wasn't feathers. It was fur. And then the next thing that hit my mind was, well, we need to make sure it ain't a skunk, because you don't want to whack a skunk. <laughs> the skunk's going to get you. It's going to spray you. <laughs> so... It, about that time, it kind of turned to where I could see it better, and I could see its tail, and it was a possum, you guys. A big, big possum. Long-necked, rat tail. Ugh. Now, I love possums. Possums are very important to our ecosystem or whatever you want to call it. I'm not a scientist. I don't know about all that either, but I know they're important. They're the only... A possum is the only marsupial, which is, um, they carry their babies in their in a pocket on their stomach. But they're the only marsupial that we have in the United States, or at least in Tennessee, anyway. So that I know of. But anyway, I seen what it was, and I just took that black that black whip, and I just popped it, whacked it on the back. And I said, you turn loose of my chicken. And I, I whacked it two, three times. And it turned loose. And the chicken went off into the backyard. The chicken's fine. Um, and the possum took off and went the other direction. So, <laughs> so y'all know it's not every day that a woman gets a black horse whip and spanks a possum. <laughs> but I did. I, I didn't hurt the possum. But I whacked it hard enough. To make it turn loose of our little hen. Um, she's a little red hen. Uh, a pretty little. Pretty little chicken. But I did. I saved that hen's life. <laughs> Hubby came home and I told him. I said you're going to have to do something. I said there's a possum. She came in. She or he. It looked like a he. Because it's big. But I said, you know, we're going to have to keep an eye on things. So, he told me, he said, the main number one thing for us to do is for me to catch those two chickens. And he said, I'm going to put them up. He said, and, you know, they're safe. They'll be safe. He's got like a, a chicken coop thing that sits up high. And he put them in it. And there's uh, boxes in there. They've got, they're full of hay. And that way, they're protected. So, he got them during last night. After I went to bed, he got them and put them up. So, that's my story. 
<laughs> yep, I never thought I'd see the day that I would whip a possum with a horse whip. <laughs> but I did. I spanked his bottom good. Um, and it's like I said, please know, I did not hurt the possum, but I did whack him hard enough to make him turn her loose because he would have killed her. He was going to eat her, and possums do that. Possums will eat your big chickens. They'll, they'll hold them down, and they'll bite them. They'll break their neck. Uh, they eat your big chickens. They eat your little chickens, and they'll also eat their eggs. So, you know, there's good things about possums, snakes, owls, but they, you also have to be really cautious of those animals because they will, they will do some damage to your chickens. But anyway, how did you like that story? Wasn't that lovely? <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to hush. I'm going to quit talking. I love you guys. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. If you stayed this long, I hope you enjoyed my, my event that I went through. <laughs> Leave it up to Nanny. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little um, fiasco that I went through last night. And, yeah, um, I guess that we will probably see you guys tomorrow. Let's see, yeah, tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Uh, I won't be doing anything else until Sunday night. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll try my best to get back in here tomorrow and change you another one of my sweeties out of their Christmas outfit and into, into some wintry warm clothes. Won't we, Abigail? Tell the ladies bye. Bye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to visit us. God bless you all, and we will see you in our next video. Take care. Bye.